Hi, I'm back here again in Swift Plus Back Office, and in this video I'm going to be talking about happy hours, how to set them up, uh, and the various different things that they are used for. Uh, happy hours are really just another way of setting up um, a promotion on an item um, for a very short period that you want to continually recur um, every day or every week um, for whatever reason. So the traditional happy hour is, um, you know, in the afternoons you might put your draft beers um, at a special price between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock or some other configuration. Um, but you can use happy hours to do many different things. Um, so you might have um, like a breakfast special on Sunday mornings um, where particular items are sold at a discounted rate. You can do that with happy hours as well. And um, this does overlap uh, quite a bit with... Um, the, the discounts that we looked at in one of the previous videos as well as the, the mix and match rules that we also looked at. Um, so these, these functions do overlap, however they can be useful for um, different things depending on your particular requirements. So we'll jump right in and get started. Um, I'm going to start here in products and happy hour setup. And this is the screen where you'll work with your happy hours. If I want to see um, the existing happy hours that are already set up, I can do that by clicking on open. And I'll be presented with a list of all my different happy hours. I can open one of these and edit it. Um, if I wanted to change the, the dates or, or the, the days and times that it runs. Or if I just wanted to create a new happy hour, I would click on new down the bottom. And that gives me a brand new happy hour to work with. So you might like to give that a name to, to start with. And you can also add notes um, about what that happy hour is and what it does, um, if, if you choose to. Um, a little bit further across here, you can specify which days the happy hour will run on. So you might like to choose just a single day, or you can choose every day. And you'll also want to specify the start and end times. And a little bit further down, you can choose what location that happy hour is going to run in. OK, so we're ready to start building the happy hour. Um, now, there are a couple of different ways that you can add products to this list. You can either add them individually or you can use the, the wizard down the bottom. To add products individually, you can click on Add Row, and it will populate the list with a single line which you can then edit. So I'll just click into Product Code and press Enter on my keyboard. And very much like in other parts of the software, um, I can now search for the product that I want to be affected. So there's one of them. And that product is now part of this happy hour. Across from the description, you'll see the normal price, $2. And then the next column across is the happy hour price. This is where you'll specify what you want to sell that product for um, when these conditions up here are met. Uh, so at the moment, I'll just put in $1.50. And you can also change the category that the product is in for the duration of the happy hour. Uh, you can also specify the, the family that it's assigned to for the duration. Um, you can also do just that without affecting the price if for whatever reason you wanted to move a, a product or a set of products into a specific category um, for a specific time for whatever reason. I can't really think of any good examples but it's there if you did want to use it. You could also specify um, bonus points on those items if they are purchased within um, within the happy hour uh, time frame. Uh, that's just going to allow you to assign um, additional um, reward points to members um, if you wanted to. So that's how you add a single product to a happy hour. I'm going to work through using the wizard now. So I'm going to click on the wizard and this little screen will pop up and there are four tabs across the top here. All of these combine to define uh, exactly which products are going to be included in the happy hour, um, which prices are going to be affected, um, and you can also use the uh, formulas to automatically calculate the price that you want to sell that product for during the happy hour. 
So in the change prices um, tab, you'll want to first specify the price level that you'll be using. Um, you might like to select multiple. For now, I'm just going to select normal. And you can also choose uh, the location if you want to affect the price in just one location or across all of them. Once you're happy with uh, what you have selected here, you can click on next. And here is where you'll be defining which price level you'll be sourcing your um, happy hour price from. Um, you can do that from the cost price if you choose to. For me, I'm going to just use the price level and click on the little button here and just choose the normal price level. On the next tab, groups and filters, this is where we'll be defining where we'll actually get our products from. You can choose several groups if you want to. Um, for me, I'm just going to choose the breakfast group. Um, you can alter that by clicking on the button here and choosing the relevant group. If your products exist in a family and you wanted to uh, use that to define which products to add to the range, you can do that as well by specifying a family. So when you're happy with your uh, filters here, you can click on next. In this tab, you'll be defining what's actually going to happen to the normal price. Um, so we chose the, the normal price in the from where tab. Um, and now I want to define how to calculate the happy hour price. So I do want to choose multiply by value. Um, there are very different ways you can, um, you can do that. Um, multiply by value is the one that I'll be using now. You can experiment with these if, if you like. So I'm going to change the formula value to 0 0.8 and essentially that's going to give a 20% discount off of the um, normal price for all of the products. You can also specify what kind of rounding you might like to use, uh, whether you're rounding up or down or no rounding at all, and you can specify to the nearest uh, denomination, whichever you, whichever you choose. So once you're happy with all of the filters that we've got here, you can click on finish and that will populate the list with all of the different products that are in, in that product group um, and it's going to define the um, price for you. So you can see those have been adjusted to approximately 20% um, uh, off, uh, give or take whatever the rounding was. Um, and you can change these uh, directly here if you, if you want to, um, if that automatically calculated price is not quite what you're after. Um, you can run the wizard multiple times um, and that's just going to append this list. It's going to add more products to um, the bottom of this list. And you can do that using completely different filters to what you used in the previous, um, previous wizard. Uh, so I'm going to select just the normal price level. Um, we're taking the price from normal. And this time I want to select the juice group and then in the formulas and rounding tab I actually want to modify this by 0 0.9 uh, so in effect giving a 10% rather than a 20% I'm going to stick with this rounding and click finish and that has just added all of the juice products to the bottom of the list with the appropriate happy hour prices in this column here so I'm pretty much finished setting up my happy hour. I'm going to save my changes and send those changes down to the terminal and we'll have a look at how that looks. I've updated my terminal and you can see that the juice products now reflect um, the happy hour price and so do the toast products. Each of these products has a little asterisk next to the uh, description um, and that's just to denote that that product is in fact being affected by um, a happy hour price uh, and it's just a, a way of prompting the clerk to notice that that product is already on promotion. Now if I want to um, disable that happy hour price for whatever reason I can do so by just opening the happy hour and selecting the one that I want to edit and I can take the tick out of happy hour is enabled and that means that the happy hour will remain set up as it is it just won't be working at the terminal um, and you might like to do that if you want to temporarily disable a happy hour 
and not have to rebuild it the next time that you go ahead and start using it. So I'm going to save my changes there and that happy hour is no longer enabled. So that pretty much covers how to set up and use a happy hour and a few different examples of where they can be used. I hope that's been helpful for you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.